Hello Internet people, my name is Robert and in this quick video I'll show you how to embed a single Instagram post on your website. So something like this. You don't need any plugins and actually it doesn't matter if you're using WordPress or Wix or plain HTML, this method will work in all cases. It is as smooth as when I cast it to be John McClane in Die Hard. <laughs> With punch. I'm going to first show you how to add a single Instagram post to any website and then I'll show you how you can make it appear in the center of the page and at the end of the video we will adjust the size of the Instagram post. If you want to have your whole Instagram feed on the website then check out the white YouTube card that will appear in your screen's top right corner right now. In that video I'll show you how to do it in WordPress. <laughs> All right. To embed a single Instagram post, it's quite easy. You just go to Instagram and make sure this Instagram post is public. Otherwise, this won't work. And then you have to click on these three dots for the post you want to embed. So I'll click on it. You have more options here and you need to choose embed. Here, you just need to copy this text, but you can do it just by clicking on this button. Now it's copied to my clipboard. And I just want to mention that if you uncheck the include captions, then obviously the captions will not appear in the embed. And now if I go to my website, in this case, I'll be using WordPress, but it will work on any website that allows you to paste some HTML. This means in WordPress, it will work for basically any of the page builders like Elementor or even the, the default one, the Gutenberg. So now I'm going to go post all posts. And let's say I want to add it to this first one. I'm going to click on edit. And now I scroll to the point where I want to add it. So let's say here, and I'm going to add a new block. Again, in Elementor, same thing. And here, just search for HTML and then add it. You can see it's been added here. And now we paste that code. We copied from Instagram. And now you can click on preview and you'll see it loads the uh, Instagram post. Now it's not always perfect. It depends a little bit on the post itself. But now if we go and preview this page, let's see how it looks like. So you can see my post, blah, blah, blah. And then I come to this one and you can see it's perfectly embedded here. No extra plugins, nothing. You can add it like this. Arnie, how do you embed this? Embedded. Hey, if you like this video so far, consider hitting the like button. That would help me a lot with the YouTube algorithm. Now, if you want to make this in the center, we can also adjust that. We come here, the HTML again, and here, all we need to do, so we're gonna add a little bit of code. It's very simple. You just type in, is less than, center, is greater than. And then you can copy this and go to the bottom of this whole code and then where you have this one the script you add it at the end and all you need to add is forward slash here so like this now it's wrapped around this html and you can see if i click on preview it's in the middle same thing if i add it here it is also in the middle of this whole thing and as i mentioned if you don't want these captions to show up you just go to instagram and you uncheck this one and then copy this code. Otherwise it works the same way. And I know you're probably thinking, Get out of here. Get out of here, man. Brought to you by getoutofhere.com. And one more thing, maybe this image is too big. So let's adjust the size. You can uh, adjust it in the code here. It looks all complicated, but all you need to do is find this width. In this case it's 540. So let's say I want it a bit smaller and I want it to have 400 pixels and then if I now preview it, you'll see it's already smaller here. And then I can preview it on my page as well. And you can see now, if I scroll down, it is here much smaller and a bit more compact. This is really up to you how you want to adjust this. Another thing I noticed that on mobile devices, the embed goes over like this, at least for the smaller sizes. You can easily fix this with a small code snippet that I prepared for you. You can grab this from the link in the description of this video because YouTube doesn't allow code in the description. So go back to the embed code on your website and then at the end of the embed code, just paste my code like this. 
Now, if you preview the website on mobile, you can see it's fixed. Since you just embedded a, a post from Instagram, how about getting some high quality and royalty free images for your website? I'll show you my favorite free sources in the first video. And in the second video, I will show you how to improve your on-page SEO to get more traffic on your website. Whoosh!